guys, welcome to Sage's Garage. Now that we have concluded my little series with Elin, although I am sure we will be on each other's channels soon, today's video is a bit of a compilation of all the updates and little things that have happened since I last filmed with Elin. So now you guys will get to see kind of where I'm at right now. The first step I need to do is find a machine shop, hopefully in my area, who can rebore my cylinders, regrind my crankshaft, and resurface my block. I also need them to be able to do it in a fairly timely fashion because I can't do anything else with my car until those steps are done. The past few days, I have been going around my area and checking out machine shops that I might be able to bring my parts to. And then actually, when I was at Retrofest, someone named Dan, who was incredibly kind and helpful and sweet, gave me a machine shop that he uses that is in the Chatham area so I went and checked them out yesterday and it sounds like that's who we're gonna go with however they are the first machine shop who said they think I absolutely will not be able to use my crankshaft but they are gonna check it out so yesterday I left my crankshaft with them and they said that in the next week or so they are going to check it out and see if I'm even gonna be able to use it or if I have to get a full new one today we're going to drop off the block because they needed the main bearings to check it out so that they could put on the machine and rebore it and we didn't have those with this yesterday so today what we're going to do is we are going to bring my block and the main bearing caps and hopefully they'll be able to do everything that I need them to so I will let you know once I find out if I can use my crankshaft or not but first they're gonna check out my crankshaft then they're gonna do my cylinders and then they're going to do my cylinder head last we are getting ready to head back to the machine shop to give them our block but right now we have to screw in the main bearing caps and with the bolts but we're making sure that we're lining up correctly so one and one and they are in the correct direction two and and then we're gonna put it in the same direction as that too. So this way. And then he'll be able to attach it to his machine and he will be able to rebore it. I have some family coming over, so I decided to pull the car out of the garage so they could see it. It does not look cute right now, it's super dirty. But since it was out, I wanted to give you guys just an update. Nothing has changed on it except for it's just gotten dirtier, but I thought you would be curious to see what it's looking like. So here it is. And here's the inside. I decided since it's been sitting for so many months and hopefully I'm gonna get it going in the near future, we're gonna plug in the battery because it's probably dead by now. I am going to have to get in here and clean out some of the skunk because it is not looking good in here. There's so much oil and it's just really crazy. Like that is insane amount. So I'm going to have to get in there and really clean this out. Since all of that, I have received my crankshaft and unfortunately it is unusable and I am going to need a new one. However, so many of you were so kind in reaching out and I was able to get my hands on a good condition standard crankshaft. So now I'm just waiting for that in the mail. With regards to the block, it's now been about three weeks since I dropped it off at the machine shop. So I'm basically just waiting to hear when it's ready and I can go pick it up. The most immediate next step for me is getting into the engine bay and really thoroughly cleaning it out because as you guys saw in those last few clips it is really really dirty so I'm gonna do that so that once I have all the parts or whatever I'm gonna do for the next steps that the car is ready for that when I do clean out the engine bay I'm probably going to give the rest of the car a cleaning nothing too crazy and detailed but just an overall wash now about the progress of my engine I will need to get many many parts to rebuild the 1500 however I do have an entire complete 1300 engine that I can use. The only thing is, it is in a mystery condition. I don't know the history of it, where exactly it came from, or if it even runs. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. I have decided that for my next steps, what I'm gonna do is try and turn the 1300 over while it's outside of the car, just see if I can even get it moving and things working. And then, fingers crossed, if that does work, I am going to put it in the car with any small adjustments or changes I need to make and see if we can get the car running. I have heard for so 
several reasons that the 1300 is better than the 1500, so I am curious to see. Now, there are several reasons that I'm thinking of doing this. One, I still need to learn how to drive stick shift, so it would be great to have a running stick shift car that I could learn on. Two, it is already summer and I really, really want to get this car out on the road and hopefully to some car shows, so if I can get it running with 1300, that would be a miracle at this point. Even with all that said, I am still going to rebuild the 1500 and you guys have been so helpful when it comes to that, so I'm absolutely going to do that, but this way I don't need to stress about getting the parts in super fast and putting it all together really fast because when I put it together, it's definitely going to take a lot longer than if any of you guys were to put it together. But this way I don't have to rush and I can still learn on the car and get it on the road much sooner. With all of that said, these plans could change at any time and like we've seen so far, there's been many changes in the road, so don't expect any of that to be exact. I wanted to thank you guys so much for all of your support and kindness and sharing all of your knowledge with me. I couldn't have done any of this without you guys and I am just so thankful. I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode and I will see you next time. Bye!